everybody and welcome back to the channel welcome to my home in Greenwich here on the London Marathon course by the beautiful Cutty Sark boat this is about seven miles in to the London Marathon where I'm going to be running with about 50,000 other people as well maybe some of you guys let us know down in the comments it's been so long since we've had a proper catch-up kind of Valencia which was about two and a half months ago so I thought we'll go out I've got 20k to do the year's been quite eventful so far so we'll go through all the races I'm going to be doing this year the expos the shakeouts I've been quite injured recently so everything about that but luckily back to full strength now also all my road goals for the year and yeah so much to catch up on so anyway let's get warmed up let's get this 20k run done let me know how you are doing down in the comments as well really looking forward to this one guys hope you're well all right let's get on the run and get this one done Let's go 20k because the rain is coming. We don't want to get wet. Right, come on, Sarah. Right, guys, we're about a k in, but I thought it'd be interesting because about five weeks ago, just here, I was running along with basically no problems in the world, and all of a sudden it was like a pop, and my hamstring just gave way. It was one of those ones I just had to walk in home, just really, really annoying. And I was like, why did this happen? It's completely, as far as I was concerned, out the blue, just running on completely fine. And then that resulted in having to have about five weeks off running. I was doing a couple of little bits getting back, and then a few people on Strava got in touch to say, quite a few people that have been running in the Alpha Fly 3, the new Alpha Fly 3, have been having some hamstring issues because it was just overloading them. And cause it to run in a weird way. So I put some footage of me running up on the screen now and I'm massively overstriding in this shoe. I was being a little bit silly as well. I'm not putting the blame on this shoe. I'm putting the blame on me running very, very fast, about 245 a K pace in this shoe, messing around. It's just one of those things. It completely overloaded the hamstring. I didn't really feel it. And a couple of days later, it just went pop and that was the end of it. Had to miss Seville Marathon, which I really wanted to go to just to get the championship time for 2025. But that's running, these things happen. And I've really massively got into all the cross training over the last few weeks. So I've been training up to about 16 hours, I think just under 16 hours was my biggest week of cross training on the cross trainer in the gym and on Zwift at home, basically. Really been enjoying getting into it. I really want to finish, there's a cycle race, not many people that interested in this from my audience, cycle race, the Mallorca 312. I really want to try and finish that this year. So going absolutely all in on the cycle training as well and really, really started to enjoy it. But so happy to be back running now. Running is my first true love. But a lot of you guys always want to know what I've been doing to rehab. So as I say, cross trainer, Zwift, but then also doing a lot of hamstring bridges off the sofa, doing a lot of squats and then some glute bridges as well, doing some hamstring curls in the gym, just strengthening up that hamstring. And now I've come back doing all that cross training and feeling really, really good cardio wise. But obviously after each run, my legs are a little bit more sore than they would be. It's so hard to get that conditioning on your legs without running. So as we're going to go to Boston and London, yeah, I'm going to keep smashing that cross training, really, really enjoying it, but I need to be getting some big miles in. So I'm going to be going up to about 130K between now and Boston. I need to get that conditioning for those hills at the back end of the race. We're going to be vlogging at that race as well and London Marathon, of course. We'll chat about all of those races in a little bit as well. But I think what's so important, why I've really enjoyed the last sort of five weeks or so of being injured, that doesn't even make sense as a runner. I know it doesn't and I know it wouldn't do for me a few years ago. I'd have been absolutely awful, but luckily my headspace is a lot better now. But I've just given myself that really big goal of trying to train for this cycle race, really get into it. So whatever, whenever you've got to take some time off running, got to do some cross running things, just give yourself a goal. Whatever it is, give yourself some to aim for it could be like trying to do more laps of the pool trying to do a, a certain amount of a certain weight that you're deadlifting give you something else to focus on and then by the time you come back to running you're super motivated which is what i am now that's enough about all of my woes from the last two weeks sarah what do you think i've been like have i been, have i dealt with it okay this injury yeah very well surprisingly well because yeah. sarah's been off injured as well she had a, took a nasty fall at the start of the year fell on her bum basically out on the trails how long have you had off sarah I had about a week off. I wasn't think. very good. But it just took a long time for it to fully go away. And Sarah's going to be running London as well. And also we're going to be both working at the expo. We'll chat about all of that stuff coming up. Right, for now, Let's we're in about go. a K in. Let's go. Sarah's getting cold. I'm getting cold. Rolling along about 4.28 a K at the moment, so not too bad. Normally when I come back to running after a bit of a break, it's so clunky and you just feel so awkward because your body hasn't been moving like that. But I've been doing so much time, spending so much time on the cross trainer. So when I come back now, running doesn't feel that alien to me, even after all that amount of time off. Right, let's stop up here and have a chat about races. 
Hello again. <laughs> right, let's have a chat about some races. I don't know, are these on my phone? Let me take the gloves off. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was going to be today. We'll be at Hampton Court Half in a few weeks. Just going to test that around, find, this, find out where my marathon pace is. I can't be running too fast at the moment. I'm still building up. So it's just like easy runs at the moment. And then obviously after that, Boston, we'll be vlogging the race. We'll be doing a shakeout at Boston. I'll post the details near the time on the website. Then we're going to London again. We'll be vlogging the race. And then we're going to be going to the Expo at London as well. We've got a stand. My first time ever selling direct to the public, direct to you guys as well. So we have the, the, all of our hats, all of our gear. So it's been so amazing to come and meet lots of you guys. We'll be doing some show offers as well. Me, Sarah, Sarah's sister will be there as well to help out. Whenever you're coming to pick up your number, then come and say hello. You don't even have to be running the marathon. You can just turn up at the XL, which is just over there and come and see us. Put that date in your diary, we there Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, and then race day on Sunday, vlogging the race, bringing that to you. Then after that, we're gonna be heading out to Mallorca for the Mallorca 312, and then the big one for the year, Comrades. We're heading back to Comrades after the absolute disaster of last year. Sarah's gonna be going for a double. Her race vlog will be out very, very soon from last year as well. And then, yeah, I think we're gonna to have to go back the next year. I really wanna run down. I'm quite a good downhill runner on tarmac, not on trails. And uh, so yeah, the uphill will be a really good one to see how it goes. And of course, we're gonna do a shake out run. We'll head to park run the day before as well, seeing lots of you guys out there. And then I'll chat about the second half of the year a bit later on. We're getting back on the trails, doing some long distance things, some 100Ks, just building up my strength and some shorter races well I've ended a 30k an 80k and 100k it's been really good for that we'll chat about that in future videos but in terms of other road marathons we'll be heading to Berlin again we'll do a shakeout run meet a lot of you guys out there 50th year of the Berlin marathon and then my big race goal of the year will be Valencia I know it's a little bit predictable but I just love it so much I always perform there I'm going to be trying to get down to sub 230 so be lots of races for the first like three quarters of the year having fun meeting you guys just enjoying running no pressure and the back end of the year it's going to be serious training how fast can we run a marathon we will also be at the 100 hills 50k not running but helping out at Bix at the last day session we'll be uh, volunteering there seeing you guys coming in getting whatever food drinks support you want really looking forward to that one and also running the Centurion North Downs Way 50 we're gonna give it a good thrash so let's know where are you gonna be running where are you racing where are we gonna see you what shakeouts are you coming to we're gonna see you at the expo really excited for you We're now about 13k into the run out at the Thames barrier here which sort of protects London from being flooded if you're not from London you might have never seen it but it's quite a cool little thing but I thought we'd have a chat about like my goals the time goals those sorts of things for the year so as I said earlier Valencia is going to be a big one really want to get under 230 at Valencia I think we can do that I held back a little bit Valencia last year running that sort of 230 I can't remember 238 so that was really really good and I know with where my headspace is at where my body's at if if we can put together about 12 weeks of solid training, we are going to be back around about 2.30, hopefully sub 2.30 for Valencia. So that's the big goal. I'd also like to run under 16 minutes officially for the 5K. I've run a park run in 15.24 or something, but my, my 5K is still over 16. because I've just hardly done any 5K races. So through the summer, I'm going to be doing some shorter stuff and really try and get that to get that qualification for the Armagh 5K next year. So 2025, early next year. I'd so love to run that race before I get too old, basically. Then my final goals of the year is to spend as much time as I can with you guys as well, doing some meetups, the shakeout runs, just spending time chatting about running. So stay tuned for all of that sort of stuff as well. Keeping up, working really hard on my mental health as well. It's in a quite a good place now. I've been really surprised. I think that shows how far I've come because having five weeks off running a year ago, two years ago, three years ago would have absolutely floored me. And I'd have probably just gone completely off Strava and off everything and just had to shut it all down and I've been really enjoying telling that story on Strava sort of documenting it through so give me a follow on there if you don't already and then yeah keeping going with the strength training I'm feeling in my body really really good at the moment my quads are looking a little bit of a different shape from all the cycling I'll be doing as well it's a really good muscle definition on there starting to see all those gains are now coming through life's not too bad right now but however you're doing however you're going in the world I hope everything's all right with you as well right let's get the rest of this run done and we'll catch up back at the Cutty Sark as well. Really enjoyed being back doing these sort of vloggy videos again. The uh, rain has started, but in true springish style, it's sunny as well. Couldn't really get more British if you tried. 
There we go, 20k. Run. Done! <laughs> Come on! Longest run in a very long time. Super happy with that one, guys. 20k in the bank as this Piper is playing Old Lang Syne behind us. I promise you it is March at the moment. We'll put my final stats for the week up on the screen now. The green is a run, the brown is some sort of cross training. And yeah, I think we've probably hit about 14 hours this week. So really happy with that one. Happy with where things are. I really hope things are going well with you guys. So for me and Sarah, we are both going to see you very, very soon. Lots of that coming up this year. So keep on working hard, keep on getting done, and we'll see you in the next one.